Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the new iPod Nano. So first, let's take a look at what's the same with the new iPod Nano. It's still primarily an MP3 player and still has the same basic playback interface that the Nanos have had. It also plays back videos on a full color screen. The design is still basically the same. It's still the same case shape and it comes with the same earbuds. It also has the same basic interface for playing things back. You use the scroll wheel to scroll up and down and around in menus, pressing the center button to go deeper into a menu, the menu button to go back. You can also do lots of different things on different features by holding down the center button and also clicking on the button that comes on the earbuds included with the Nano. But this new little device also comes with a whole bunch of new features. One of them, for instance, is VoiceOver. So VoiceOver is something that was introduced with the Shuffle earlier this year and it basically allows iTunes to create little text voice messages for each song, each playlist, each artist, each album that you've got and you can go ahead and use the button on your earbuds to have it tell you the name of the song that's currently playing. You can even have it list the current things in playlists and have it jump right to them. It works the same way it does with the Shuffle except the Shuffle actually has some more buttons on its earbuds that don't come on the Nano's earbuds. You can, however, I hear, use those Shuffle earbuds with the Nano to get the same features. The biggest new feature, of course, is the little camera on the back that allows you to record video. You can record 640, 480 QuickTime video and with audio from the little microphone below the camera. In the very next episode of MacMost Now, I'm going to do a review on just the camera part of the Nano. So I'll just say now that it works pretty well, although remember it's only video, it doesn't do photographs. Coming along for the ride with the video camera is the fact that you can use the microphone to create voice memos. So this is very useful for doing quick voice memos from yourself but you can also record hours and hours worth of audio. So it makes it perfect for a college student that wants to record a lecture. But the new features don't stop there. There's also a pedometer. It measures your steps. Now iPods did this before but only in conjunction with the special Nike attachments. Now you can actually record your steps with a pedometer built into the device. And it's not just something that counts steps. You can actually set goals for yourself. It can actually have different features and things like that. There's a whole complex menu of different things you can do with it. And I hear you can also upload the results to the Nike website even if you don't have a Nike product to attach to your iPod Nano. Now another new feature is an FM radio. But it's not just an FM radio. It's integrated really well with the interface of the Nano. So it's kind of got this digital tuner interface. Not only that but you could also go ahead and see the digital information displayed by a lot of stations. You know the same type of stuff you might see displayed on car stereos. But some stations go even further and actually provide these little digital tags with each song. If you're lucky enough to find a station with one of these you can actually add a song as a favorite tag it and perhaps purchase it later from the iTunes store. You can look at the songs you recently listened to. Now a bigger new feature for the FM radio is the fact that it's recording 15 minutes of FM radio kind of like a TiVo does for television. So you can pause the FM radio and resume it a few minutes later. Not only that but you can start recording ahead of time. So say if you're going to work out you can start recording 10 minutes before you get to the gym and then when you're at the gym start playing and then you can skip some commercials. Now there's some other new software features as well. Like for instance the new Genius Mix feature is there and also I noticed that using the camera it knows what the orientation of the Nano is. So somewhere in here is the ability to figure out what direction you're pointing the device. So I can't think of too much bad to say about it. Okay it does come with standard earbuds instead of the ones with a microphone like the iPhone and the ones with the extra buttons like the shuffle. And also of course it would be really nice to be able to take photos with the camera though I understand that it wouldn't fit inside of the really thin body of the Nano. But it is kind of incredible that you can get this device for 149 bucks. I mean just the camera alone. It's a smaller device with more storage space and probably a lot better battery than most of those other pocket camcorders out there. And you add all those new little features like the pedometer and the FM radio and I think this is really going to be like the gift for the holidays this year.